Hi guys, I'm Katie from How To Become. Welcome to my videos for basic maths. The focus for this video is percentages of whole numbers. And before I move on, don't forget to subscribe for my whole range of basic maths videos. Please leave comments, share my video and give it a like. Okay, so what am I going to teach you? So I'm going to teach you what a percentage actually is, how to work out percentages of whole numbers, and how to find percentages without the use of a calculator. Okay, so 6% of 50. So in order to work this out, you would do 50 divided by 100. So to find 100%, you would move the decimal point two spaces to the left. So this would give you 0 0.5. Because think of the decimal point being at the very end of the number, which would be there. One, two spaces would go there, and then you would just fill in the gaps with a zero. So we've got 0 0.5. So then you would do 0 0.5 times 6, which is the percentage you're trying to work out. So remove the decimal, work out the sum, and then add the decimal back in. So you would do 5 times 6 to give you 30. So one number came after the decimal. So one number has to come after the decimal in the answer. So the correct answer is 3. So 6% of 50 is 3. Example 2, so we've got 15% of 60. So the same method, 60 divided by 100%, so move the decimal point two spaces to the left, which will give you 0 0.6. 0 0.6 times 15, because that's the percentage you're trying to work out. So remove the decimal, work out the sum, and then add it back in at the end. So we do 6 times 15 to give us 90. So one number came after the decimal, so again, one number has to come after the decimal in the answer. So 90, add the decimal point in, will give you the answer of 9. So 15% of 60 is 9. Example 3, we've got 3% of 75. So 75 divided by 100. Move the decimal point two spaces to the left to give you 0.75. 0 0.75 times 3, so again, remove the decimal point and just do the calculation. So 75 times th 3 will give you 225. So two numbers come after the decimal point, so two numbers has to come after the decimal point in the answer. So we'll give you the answer of 2.25. And finally, we've got our last example, so we've got 9% of 120. So 120 divided by 100%. Move the decimal point two spaces to the left. So we've got 1.2. Then 1.2 times 9. So work out the calculation. So it would be 12 times 9 is 108. One number come after the decimal point in the question. So one number has to come after the decimal point in the answer. So 108 would be 10.8. So 9% of 120 is 10.8. Okay, so hopefully now you have a better understanding of how to work out percentages of whole numbers. For more practice questions, we have a fantastic guide and offer. So simply click on the book image here to be directed straight to all of our practice questions. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for free. If you do have any math videos you would like me to do, leave me your suggestion and I'll add it to my to-do list. For more videos, click on the link click here button. Hover over the coloured rectangle boxes to be directed to one of my other short mathematical videos. That's it from me. Stay updated with a whole range of videos to come. Thank you for watching and I wish you the very best of luck.